Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashmita and I hope you all are doing well. And today's video is inspired by XLS, who's a really, really uh, nice YouTuber. She's an army. And uh, well, actually I was thinking I will like share my review and my thoughts on the second uh, chapter or the second episode of Seven Fates Webtoon. But when I saw her video, she did a read along of the first chapter. So I thought that was a really cool idea because then you can get my immediate reaction while I read the webtoon and we can have like a read along thing. So a big shout out to XLS because she sort of inspired me to do this video. So I'm not going to just read Seven Fates. First, I'll read Seven Fates, but I will also be doing a read along for Dark Moon, which is the Enhypen webtoon, and the Star, Se uh, Star Seekers, which is the Tomorrow by Together webtoon. So for uh, Dark Moon and Star, Se Star Seekers, I have already read the first chapter on my own. So we will, of course, be reading the second chapters or the episode two for all the uh, webtoons. Now, uh, for Dark Moon and Star Seekers, I'm still a little confused with the members, who is who. So I've opened another uh, page so that I don't get confused. Uh, so yeah, let's start. Let's start with Seven Fates. Oh, sorry. I think I... Let's start with Seven Fates first. So this is episode two. Now we already know that Zeha and Haru have met. Haru in the end touches Zeha's head and I don't know. Maybe his memory is going to come back. So let's see. Let's read Let's do a read along of chapter two of Seven Fates. Chaco. Okay. Yeah, so this is where we left. I'd better kill you. I'd better kill you. Ah, okay. Uh, my memories are coming back. So this is Zeha saying, My memories are coming back. Okay. So Haru did his magical thingy over there. Huh? Okay. Episodes two. Let's begin. One month ago, 16 Jan, on the lunar calendar, yes, so he went to the mountain where uh, the entire population over there got killed, like the people who were there. The bomb rock of Ingwan mountain, so he went there, I think. Huh? Someone's here. This is Zeha's dialogue. Oh, this, this, I like this hairstyle. Looks like the, like the tiger. Oh, that's, that's cool. Not tiger, I'm so sorry. Lion. Huh? Lion's mane. I didn't expect anyone else to be here at this hour. Oh, I like the artwork. He looks nice. Ooh. That's some intense artwork over here. Huh? Who is this guy? Oh. Oh, he's definitely the villain. Look at that smirk. He's definitely the villain. Okay, so this is, we are going in past. This is his memory. One month ago. If it isn't you, Zeha. Oh, he knows him. Is he the, I think he's the same guy. I think he's the same guy who uh, met Zeha in that place. And, you know, he actually persuaded him to go to Ingwan uh, Mountain. I think he's the same guy. I feel that. Look how much you've grown. Zeha is a is a effed up kid. Really. Do I know you? Who is he? I've never met him before. This dude is huge. Like Zeha is tiny. Considering how big Jango is. Uh, I guess you don't remember me. Think Zeha. Do you really not remember? Oh, is he his eye? He's, the, he's a bomb. He's a bomb. His eyes are flashing. Ooh, okay. Oh. So he's in a trance. He has in a trance. He's my father's friend. Oh, okay. He's my father's friend. We used to meet often when I was young. Ah, so that's the dad and the mom. Oh, okay. He was really nice to me. So he's the good guy? But I don't, I, he was smiling. I don't think he's a good guy. I have gut feeling that he's not a good guy. Huh? Long time no see. 
हाँ सी ही स्मोकिंग ही इज डेफिनेटली आई थिंक ही इज मैनिपुलेटिंग हिज माइंड इन थिंकिंग दैट ही इज द नाइस गाय ओके नाउ यू रिमेंबर this tall dude is definitely evil your father used to bring you here and sing the okay this particular rock ha huh? really did you know that your father belonged to the bomb tribe okay so father is a bomb and mom is a human ha huh? did you know that your father belonged to the bomb tribe that lived on the opposite side of this rock how would he know of course he doesn't know the bomb tribe jango zeha so confused the bomb tribe is allowed to come here yeah come out here only on january 16 no bomb was exempt from it yes correct only one day not until your father met your mother who was oh mother was a gatekeeper so she is not like a normal civilian she was a gatekeeper so so a gatekeeper so because even uh, haro is a gatekeeper right right oh she was a shaman okay she was a shaman who protected the great that concedes that connects this world to the bomb world yes all she had to do was sing oh the gate game song okay so she was a shaman all right all right to open the passage way to the bomb world okay thanks to that song your father was able to stick around here even after january 16th while everyone else was dragged back to where they came from and with that you were born to your bomb father and human mother so but she was a shaman okay okay i like this i like this tall dude's artwork the hair and all of that looks nice no to be exact your mother was from the gom tribe so this is different i mean even though she was probably human but there was probably some magical ability that she had that's what i'm guessing gom tribe okay i like this dude's artwork it was nice can you sing it the song they used to sing for you the gate oh he's still dazed oh he's he's still dazed he's he's still under his control i think he has hypnotized him the gate game song he's trying to uh, sort of manipulate his memory and get the song or he wants the gate to open the gate game song now he'll sing will he sing come come this voice um oh a low soothing singing voice that's his dad oh his dad used to sing for him come come quickly it belongs to my father so his dad used to sing okay okay come come quickly come quickly before the gate closes oh so that's why that's why haru said to zeha that it's because of you that this crack happened and the gate opened because you you made it happen so because he sang the song because that guy cannot sing because he his mother used to sing and mother was a shaman so he has his mother's blood obviously so he only he can open the gate now ah he is singing he is singing oh my god before the gate closes he is singing dadun come quickly before the gate closes crack ah see now the crack has happened okay so he cracked it open crack rattle aha aha rumble ah see this is the evil dude this is the evil dude it worked it worked it worked okay there are those oh so this is like a gateway thing opening this is like a portal kind of thing there's a portal oh okay 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 who aren't here yet boom open there's a crack there's a crack 
Oh, this is evil. Yes. I like this artwork. This is nice. The colors used. The boom thing. Wow. Okay. Cool. Should I? Oh, this is better, na? I love. You can see. Like in a mobile phone. Boom. Oh, see, this is evil. Oh, I think this, this resolution is better. Come out, my fellow bomb. Crash. Ah. Oh, they are all let loose. So they are different types of bombs. See? All different kinds. Most of them look evil. Roar. See? Oh, wow. Okay. Is he the leader of bombs? My sealed power. Oh. My sealed power is returning. Achha. I think he is the bomb leader. Come, come. He is still singing the song. Swoosh. 4,000 years ago, a damn mutt like you locked me up. Achha. Okay. As the shaman's blood flows in you, he's still dazed, huh? You will be able to shut the gate again. So, I'd better kill you. Oh, so that's how he got that mark. That's how he got that mark. But he was not killed, na? He was hospitalized. He's still dazed. There are tears in his eyes. Oh, uh, mom? Dad? Evil dude. Attention! Grrr, growl. Our time has come. We shall resume this war. So there was this war didn't happen for 4,000 years. So now they are back. That we left unfinished 4,000 years ago. He's hurt. Ah, we are back in the prison. Oh, look at him all guilty. Look at him all guilty. Uh huh. Oh, oh, this is beautiful. This artwork. I'd better kill you, but he was not able to kill. Zeha, run. Oh, what was that? Zeha, run. Who's that? Oh, that's his mom, I think, in the eyes. Ah. Uh, Hoopo. His name is Hoopo. Hoopo killed my parents. Achha. So he was, he probably deceived his parents. Just like he deceived them. Like he was a good guy. Probably said he was a good guy. But no. Congratulations graduates. Since I was a child, it was given that I grew up without my parents. I wondered if my parents had abandoned me. Soon that thought turned into resentment. Correct. There were times I sorely missed them. Whenever that happened, I patted myself on the back and endured until the terrible sense of loneliness died away. Hmm. Since no one was there to comfort me, I eventually grew numb and forgot how to cry. Just like that, my parents became dead to me. He became numb to his surroundings. Or so, I thought. When Haru laid his cold hand on my shoulder, Laid, not lad, sorry. And Haru laid his cold hand on my shoulder. Haru's artwork is like, he's, he's literally my wallpaper right now. The emotions I had hidden deep down burst open. Ah, uh, I know how you feel. I know it all. You have been through a lot. Yes, let it out. Say ha, let it out. Let it out. Everything was taken away from you. Haru is so calm and chill, na? Your parents, even your memories about them. So I think it was Hooper's fault that his memories were lost. It must have been painful. All of your suffering caused by the visitors who came over that day. Let's go, my dear child. Oh, look at this. Look at how pretty this artwork is. Oh, I'll, now the next wallpaper is this. It's incredible. Haru's artwork is incredible. Let's go, my dear child. 
let us hunt the bomb. Oh, over. Let us hunt the bomb. So, so now, I I still feel I still feel Zeha can be manipulated. Though he won't be manipulated by Hoopo, but Hoopo looks to me like he has regained his powers. He's become strong again. So, without the power, also he had this hypnotic kind of this thing. But the thing is, the thing is, Zeha doesn't know he has powers yet. Otherwise, how he was saved? Because he is half bomb and half shaman, right? So I think Zeha's power would be even more. I Zeha is seems to be uh, the central character here. I feel that the main story revolves around him because he is the only one who can close this gate. He is the only one who can co close this gate. So we'll see. So one month has already happened since that incident, and there are already a lot of killings which are happening. So oh, third chapter is going to be. Interesting to watch. Interesting to watch. What did you guys think of this episode? I think it has. It is slowly. It is still not picked up pace because it's setting up the context. We. I was. I was actually hoping we'll get introduced to at least one more character. We have not. But I feel the next one we are going to get introduced to uh, Dogon's character because he's the detective and he is. Go he will be assigned this case of. You know look for these bombs and you know put a stop to it let's see let's see i have a hunch that you know the next entry of next character entry is going to be of uh, dogon so yeah that was that was the read along for uh, you know seven faiths chapo episode 2 what did you guys think i feel i feel the first and the second episode are more or less in the similar sort of uh, level uh, where it is still setting up the context we still it's going to you know slowly slowly reveal the sort of storyline because here we only i don't know i'm just i'm just wondering how their destinies are all crisscrossed is zeha is i mean because none of them only zeha is half bomb so i don't know how their destinies dogon of course i can make out why dogon is going to be there because he's going to be the main uh, detective but let's see how others come into the picture. So yes, that was that was the uh, read along for Seven Fates Chaco. I will also do a read along of Dark Moon, The Blood Altar, and Star Seekers uh, Chapter Two. But I'll post them as separate videos. I'll post them as separate videos. So yes, this was for that was it for this particular video, and I will see you soon now on my next one. Bye. You are the cause of my euphoria.